No. You can buy an automatic weapon at Walmart, and you can buy the bullets to put in at Walmart. But if you go to the um, butcher section, you can't buy a haggis in the United States, because it's banned. Now, James McSween, who is our probably our last guest, I think, for the evening, well, he is the guardian of Scotland's national dish, haggis. James, welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you very much. What's behind this nonsense? Um, it, it's, it's a complicated situation, George, that... Um, Haggis to Americans is a bit misunderstood, and the ban, the ban's been going longer than probably any man alive can remember. Um, it's in the Americans' opinion, they don't they don't see that British or Scottish haggis or haggis that's consumed in the United Kingdom is fit for human consumption. Um, so, in the great American way, just ban it. Um, and, and, really and, and have a particularly greasy monster burger instead. No, they, they, ironically, they do make their own haggis. Um, I've got friends that lived in, the, in America for a while and they've been to burn suppers, but it tastes nothing like... Nothing know, like the like, real thing. Nothing like the real thing that we, we manufacture in Scotland. So, you know, they, they ban it, but they still want to have haggis for themselves, but it's just an American equivalent. Um, now, you're a director of McSween Haggis, yeah, and I'm, uh, I'm, I don't know uh, if it was yours, but you created the first commercially available vegetarian Haggis. Did. And uh, I've tasted it, and it's excellent, actually. Thank you. Yeah, it was my father's creation t just over 25 years ago. Um, until last year, it was the, the last piece of uh, uh, new product development we did. Um, haggis is you know, quite traditional in, in many aspects, but uh, myself and my sister, who now run the business, we're the third generation. Um, have developed um, slice and made it more convenient and, and more more appealing to a younger audience. So much so that in the last year we've created 75,000 new haggis consumers. So that's not people that we've poached from other haggis manufacturers. It's people that's never you've, ate haggis you've, before. You've turned them on to turn them on to haggis. That's Marvel. exactly it, George. Now look, the Burns business is big around the world, and it must be big in the United States. So all these Burns suppers. Mm -hmm. are, uh, are basically sitting down to address an ersatz haggis, really. They, it's not the real thing. Um, in, we, we can get haggis to most places in Europe, and that's, that's a, a market that we still cater for. Um, the heyday of us sending haggis around the world, it used to go, it, it was incredible. A burn society would phone us, oh yeah, British Airways are going to do the, the, the courier of the, the haggis for free, and... We've got Bell's Whiskey, you know, the, the sponsorship and the money that was spent on um, foreign uh, burnt suppers was quite incredible. Um, still a bit of it going on, but not like it used to. Um, but in, 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 the, in America, uh, anything made with sheep's lungs uh, coming from the outside is not allowed, yeah? You wouldn't, you wouldn't even, even be able to go in and buy, um, as far as I know, you couldn't go into a butcher shop and, and buy some offal to just have... Um, and make your own. It's it's just they consider just a, a, grey meat. Yeah. Yeah. It's just if a it no, ain't a prime no rib, they're yeah. not interested. You know, it's it's so simple for them. Fabulous, uh, James. Look, um, www. Max Sween, M A C S W E E N. dot co. dot U K. That's that, where you uh, can order that vegetarian haggis. And I yeah. recommend it, I must say. And you didn't pay me to say that. I'm no, I didn't. I'm very I'm grateful for you to endorsing I'm volunteering my product. It. All the best to you, James. He's the guardian of Scotland's national dish.